geez, where do you even begin with a picture this inept? The unneeded fourth installment from the franchise that just doesn't know when to quit premiered on the Sci-Fi Channel on February 28, 2009. This time around, the giant man-eating snakes, which now have the ability to regenerate when injured, are terrorizing a bunch of hopeless meatbags wandering the Romanian woods. The unimaginative 89-minute script is a direct sequel to The Offspring, with the occasionally capable Crystal Allen returning to lead duties. With a tight tank top and pistols strapped to both hips, she certainly has the look of a sexy action hero, but everyone else is a downright embarrassment. The made-for-TV script is so pedestrian and silly, I doubt even Meryl Streep could make it work. John Rhys Davies returns as well, as the dying mogul desperate to obtain a MacGuffin serum to prolong his life. Featured only briefly in bookend segments, his entire performance amounts to little more than posturing and expositional monologues. Eight minutes into the R-rated film, after a predictable scientist gets eaten by his lab experiment cold open, the film cuts to its primary establishing shot. It's our first proper introduction to the setting where we'll be spending the remainder of the runtime. And yet, this 10-foot crane shot of a jeep pulling into a thinly crowded forest is perfectly emblematic of Trail of Blood's many issues. For starters, giant anacondas don't live in the forest. Secondly, aerial font in plain white? Come on guys, at least show some imagination with your titles. Moreover, are we actually meant to believe this clearly flat area is the Carpathian Mountains? Third, is this really the most invocative shot director Don E. Flauntleroy could come up with? A slow-moving crane shot beneath the tree line of a nondescript forest in Eastern Europe? It provides no sense of scale, excitement, or more importantly, geography. The key tenet of an establishing shot, as its name would suggest, is to establish where the action will take place. And you know what other movies are filmed entirely on location in Romania? Steven Seagal's direct-to-video work. Not a trait you want to share. Now, I've spent a fair amount of time complaining about a single shot early in the film. And there's a reason for that. When your locations are uninteresting and the compositions unengaging, your audience is going to check out. And after only 500 seconds, I was mentally disconnected from this movie. Worse still, the one alluring aspect of these types of low-budget creature features, dumb characters getting eaten alive by scary monsters, simply isn't satisfying in the slightest. Frequent cutaways to disemboweled bodies and animal carcasses are sprinkled throughout in an attempt to gross out the audience into paying attention again. But it doesn't work. Conversations are littered with random and unnecessary extreme close-ups, while the computer-rendered 30-foot snakes look like a cartoon screensaver pasted on top of the frame. The music is nothing but bland, pre-composed, royalty-free tracks, and not even the stuff you'd have to pay for. I've literally spent more money scoring my YouTube videos than Sci-Fi did on this pile of crap. And speaking of audio, what's with the sound effects? The titular creatures literally growl like tigers and squeal like wounded pigs. At least I remind the film's brain-dead writer, snakes don't have vocal cords. This franchise began as a shameless guilty pleasure, but has only sunk deeper and deeper with each regrettable installment. And while previous entries benefited, however ironically, from their scenery-chewing villains like John Voight or David Hasselhoff, Trail of Blood has none of that and is irredeemably flat. A boring, poorly made slog, Anaconda 4 is cinematic garbage. But hey, at least we can enjoy this hilarious freeze frame of one of the dumb mercenaries mid-tackle. That does it for this quick excerpt, but if you'd like to watch full episodes of Movie Night and submit your own reviews to be included on the show, please visit the Jogwheel YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan Paula, thanks for watching and have a good movie night.